Hey everyone, this is Jerry from the TapTap Tap editorial team. In today's video, we continue our investigative video game journey through our platform with this latest episode of TapTap Tap Explored. This week we have not only one, but two games that our editors gave a perfect 5 out of 5 rating. So let's check them out. Cats in Time. Cats in Time, as you can tell from the name, not only contains a variety of adorable little furballs, but it is also an addictive puzzle-based hidden object gem with historical elements to boot. I dare say it's the Cat's Meow. Cats in Time is a free-to-play game where you're tasked with finding cats by solving puzzles and riddles across 3D rendered environments from different ages in history. It's incredibly easy to get into, and it can definitely keep you invested with its simple yet fun game mechanics and colorful backdrops. So play this if you like cats and puzzle games, as it's a puzzle game cleverly disguised as a hidden object game. Daddish 3 Daddish 3 is a game that places you in the role of a father trying to save his children from a bus trip gone awry. There's just one catch. The dad and his kids are all radishes. This title is a free-to-play retro 2D platformer featuring 50 playable levels full of all sorts of puzzles, unlockable secrets, and enemies. It's rather challenging, and it's the third game in the series, but prior knowledge of the deep Daddish universe lore isn't a requirement to enjoy this entry. If you've ever played Super Mario World or any of the games in that series, you'll love Daddish 3 for all of its platforming goodness and quirky dialogue. The Way Home There are a good many roguelikes hitting the digital storefronts as of late, but this one is a bit different since you can play it in vertical mode on your phone. It's still a bit of a samey roguelike experience overall, but hey, now you can have it in the palm of your hand. The Way Home's gameplay is fun, if a bit on the repetitive side, and aesthetically pleasing in the ever-popular pixelated manner. Almost everything here is essentially a by-the-book roguelike game with procedurally generated dungeons, progression and crafting systems, and lots of different enemies to overcome. All in all, The Way Home dilutes plenty of concepts into its intriguing cocktail of gaming goodness. And while some flavor is lost here and there, there's a compulsion to the game that's reminiscent of the best roguelike dungeon crawlers. Hello neighbor, Diaries. Have you ever lived next to a creepy house with lots of odd rumors surrounding it, and wondered what kind of terrible secrets those mysterious neighbors might harbor inside? Well then, Hello Neighbor Diaries will let you experience what it's like to creep into a house of that ilk, then get chased by the ominous neighbor. Hello Neighbor Diaries is a new mobile addition to the already established survival horror stealth game series from Tiny Build, where your goal is to sneak into your neighbor's house, solve some intricate puzzles while fleeing from the awful neighbor so that you can eventually crack the case of a boy who is missing. Since this game is still in beta, you may encounter some optimization issues here and there, but overall, if you're already familiar with this series and horror games are your bag, then Hello Neighbor Diaries is definitely worth trying out. Exiled Kingdoms RPG Originally released in 2015 by Four Dimension Games, Exiled Kingdoms is an isometric action RPG that allows you to roam freely through a unique world. It has a challenging environment, choices with consequences, and a solid game system with different paths to develop your character. The biggest selling point for an RPG is its plot. This game doesn't deliver much in that department, but fans who love old-fashioned hacking and slashing, grinding for gear and questing, are going to get a kick out of it nonetheless. The free version offers two selectable classes and 30 areas to explore, and most importantly, no pay-to-win mechanics. If you feel like returning to the glory days of PC RPGs, then Exiled Kingdoms is a perfect mobile adaptation for an old-school epic RPG adventure. Hunt Down. The era of the 1980s has maintained an incredible charm. Something of a mystic arm of coolness hangs around it, and Hunt Down certainly leans into this nostalgia and borrows heavily from the rain-soaked cyberpunk imagery of that era. In Hunt Down, you play as a bounty hunter that can run, jump, and shoot, as is in most classic 2D side-scrolling shooters. But a clever addition here is a side shot, which is essential to avoid the fanning of enemy bullets. It's all presented with beautiful hand-painted 16-bit pixel art graphics and combined with fluid action-packed 60 frames per second gameplay. A cherry on top here is the addition of an epic synthesized soundtrack. It's as simple as this. If you don't dig Hunt Down, then you don't dig fun and I feel sorry for you. Super Auto Pets Okay, so just because the game plays itself doesn't mean it's simple. And that perfectly applies to Super Auto Pets, which is an auto battler 
where you build a team from a lovable cast of animals, each with unique abilities, and then fight against another player's team. The joy of this game is in uncovering deep team composition strategies and overcoming the card game-esque randomness to put all the pieces together and become unstoppable. This is the game that can open your eyes to just how much strategy and careful thinking can go into deciding if you should spend your money on a cow or a hippo. Play this if you like Hearthstone's Battleground mode. Super Auto Pets is worth checking out if you've enjoyed any of the popular auto battlers that came before it. Alrighty then, those are the seven hidden gems we found for you on TapTap this week. You are only one tap away from downloading any of these games on TapTap through the links below. Let us know in the comments if you've already played any of them, and please don't forget to smash those like and subscribe buttons. This is Jerry, signing off for me and all of my colleagues at TapTap. Tap.